Well moved. Yuba, my beautiful Yuba. You can't come in. Please go away. You're not angry with me, are you? I can't see you anymore. My brother won't even speak to me. Haven't you heard? Half the young men in town are being shipped out to labor camps. Your brother won't have to go. I work for the officer who draws up the lists. Aren't you going to let me in? Makes her all the tastier. Let's see the other pictures, too. Ah, what pleasure can you possibly get out of a photograph? We've got imaginations. You can't possibly imagine what this was like. When we first got here, Mira, her name was. Untouched by human hand. This one, a real crazy one. A widow, she wanted a baby. The first woman I ever met who wanted a baby, so naturally it didn't happen. This one, nothing. Who's that? Something new. Jovanka, she's called. I met her last month. What's taking you so long? Well, this one requires patience, sincerity. She's a real challenge. standing there for over an hour, just staring out. What is it? Nothing, Mama. 
You saw the German last night? Yes. Did something happen? Yes, something happened. We were attacked by partisans. Criminals. I was a coward. I ran. I left him alone. I warned you, Jovanka. What did you want to. me to do? Stop living? Sit in a dark corner and wither away? Drown myself in hate when the only hate I feel is not for the enemy, not for the Germans, but for war? Yes, I was. What did they do to you? You were making love to him. You were Yugoslav. What were you doing? Rewarding him for occupying our city, killing our people? Torturing them, sending them to concentration camps? What did they do to him? What they did, they did on their own. But that wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been lying there with a German. One obscene act led to another. What did they do? We won't let women like you destroy the morale and the pride of our men. The partisan command has ordered the punishment of all women who have fraternized with the enemy. You punish him and now you want to punish me. Why? Because I don't hate them the way you do. Because I wanted to live. I wanted a few moments of love, of kindness. It wasn't a German who made love to me. It was just a man. A man I cared for, who cared for me. There were five of you. Five of you he cared for. This is why you wanted to be free of me until the war was over. Not because you weren't sure. Or because you didn't want to have children at a time like this. You wanted to sleep with a German. be sensible about this, shall we? Whoever did this also attacked a German sergeant. We want to help you. Now, who were these scoundrels? You must have seen their faces. You know their names. Tell me who they are and you will be avenged. We'll either find out who did this or execute some more hostages. By your leave, sir, reprisal's not the solution here. These girls pose a real problem. In what way? Well, if we let them go around town, they're a walking demonstration of the power of the partisans. 
If we lock them up, we're punishing ourselves. And for what? For fraternizing with our own men. So get rid of them. Sir? Drive them out of town. Have a squad escort them to the gates and send them on their way. And what will become of them? I haven't the slightest idea.
tell you? That you reminded him of his mother? What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? We should stay together, you know. Why? We do have something in common. I'm hungry. Well, I am. I'm thirsty. What do you want us to do? Feed you with the breast? What's your name? At least we have names. We still have names. My name is Yuba. Maria. The widow Maria. Mira. My name is Yvanka. And you? Ah. Ah. Idiot. To kill yourself because of him. You don't understand. I understand, all right. They've not only taken your hair, they left you nothing decent to remember. I've been punished for something I didn't do. We never even made love. <laughs> Will she die? No, I don't think so. Maybe she was right to try. Why? What are we to live for? I don't know. I don't know.
know what you'll find in a shepherd's hut. Sometimes the shepherd, sometimes the flock itself. Who are you? The lamb can talk. Who are you? Home guards. You work with the Germans? Not for them, with them. Give a preference? outside. convoys on this road, you're mistaken. Well, we'll give it another hour. We'll assemble on the North Ridge. Ever seen a pregnant woman before? Keller? Who else? Well, I don't think you should go in the water. Oh, don't be silly. I feel fine.
if you are going to have a baby, we've got to start thinking about it. January it was. My family had no call. Paul, Sergeant Keller got some for us. All he wanted, he said, was to be part of a family again. I was scared. He was the first man I ever knew. Why are you being so stupid? It's a wonderful thing to have a baby. It's the only thing I've ever wanted. Is that the reason? The only reason. I wanted a child. The German was tall and handsome. If I was lucky, the child would be tall and handsome. But I wasn't lucky. I have nothing to show for anything. Except this. truth before. I kissed him. That's all I ever did. I wouldn't do what he wanted. Later, I was sorry, and I tried to see him again, but he'd have nothing more to do with me. Take it from the Germans. Just the five of us. We'll hold up some more peasants. No, we decided not to do that ever again. It's wrong. It's better than starving. It's not better. That's what we try to make ourselves believe. We have excuses for everything, when there's no excuse for what we have done to what we have become. Admit it. We let ourselves be seduced by a German. We did it for love, we did it to protect someone, we did it in despair, we did it in weakness. No matter what we say, or how sorry we feel about it, we did something contemptible. That's a fine patriotic speech, Luba, but I've done nothing contemptible. Tell me, what is more contemptible than war? What that men make? Is murder less disgusting than love? Just because we've been branded by the partisans so prove of our indecency. Then let's act with pride, Jovanka. Let's refuse to be outcasts, to be mocked women. And how shall we do that? By joining the partisans. I'd rather die. I wouldn't. And you wouldn't either. With Mira's baby coming, we're going to need all the help we can get. Where are you going? For a walk.
Punished? What happened? He grabbed me. A partisan, I think. What happened? I, uh, I saw some girls. I went down to investigate. And they fired at me. Why? How do I know why? Shall we follow them? No, we've got to get a convoy. for this. They take away our cattle. They arrest our men. They kill and slaughter. Go away. We don't want you here. Get out before the Germans find you. Yovanka! Yovanka! Los! Mach den Flag zu! Aufsitzen! Abfahren! some of the men down there and see if you can help them. We'll keep you covered.
That's not necessary. I'll decide what's necessary. You know him? He cut off my hair. You take the prisoner, I'll question him later. No, you won't. Why not? He's my prisoner. All right, you're in charge of him. Take his pistol. Yes. They've broken off contact. I think they're regrouping for an attack. Everybody accounted for? Everyone. All right, on your feet, everybody. We're moving out. Come on! I'm sorry about the cornfield. I didn't know Get that... away from me. You won't say anything to Velko, will you? I won't. But don't you ever touch me again. My name is Branko. What's yours? Done it, sir. Bronco, get back to your place in the line. You're holding up the line. Come on, move. A German captain. Nobody bosses you but a general. I tell you something. I just promoted myself.
This detachment is part of the 1st Battalion, 3rd Partisan Brigade. We've been discussing whether or not we should ask you to join us. We decide these things always by popular vote. It's been agreed that in spite of your past record, it's agreed that now you belong with the shoe fight Germans. That's what matters. That's the important thing. There is, however, and I speak frankly, one condition. There is a condition, you said. What is it? This army is unlike any other army. We all live together here, very closely, men and women alike. And we've learned from bitter experience that if romantic attachments develop, love affairs and so on, this can lead to rivalries and jealousies. It can lead to quarrels, and this is very bad for morale. This is a matter of discipline for all of us. We have a strict military law that forbids sexual relations. We want you to understand that. For one thing, the birth of a child imposes a great hardship, not only on the mother and child, but on an army fighting guerrilla warfare. We didn't make this rule because we anticipated having five new recruits, but because we know what has happened in the past when there was no such rule. Let Speckle tell him what happened in his detachment. Forty-three fighters were lost. A massacre. Forty-three of us. Three survivors. All in one night. We had women in our group. Loose women. But we didn't have this rule. They were on guard duty together one night. Two men, two women. I suppose they were making love when the Germans came. Anyway, we three who survived, we found them the next morning. The two couples on guard. Shot where they lay in each other's arms. The rest of you can do what you like. I'm leaving. It's not for me. Jovanka. Wait. You say yourself you have nothing to do with them. What does it matter if they have a rule about it? Ivanka, please, we need please. you. Please. If I stay, you accept me as I am. <laughs> I want you to understand something. This rule that we have about love, this is directed mostly against the men to keep them from molesting the women. You're protecting her virtue? despite her record of weakness. Yovanka, listen to me. From now on, we're going to be fighting side by side. We've got to forget the past. We've got to be friends now. No. I'll fight at your side till the war is won. Yes, if you live that long. But I'm not going to forget the past. And we are not going to be friends. We'll be friends when you can feel something. Something personal. Love, hate, anything. We'll be friends when you can see more in what you did to me than an object lesson. When you can feel in your own heart what shame means, what humiliation means.
rifleman I ever saw. Why are you blushing? Partisans don't blush. Do Germans treat prisoners this well? You're wounded. A flesh wound. Don't keep it clean. A big dangerous infection. Yes. May I look at it? your entire detachment will be undertaking an important and dangerous mission in your own hometown. Velko and Mirko will brief you on the details of the operation later. Two of you, however, will be left behind, and that's what I want to discuss at the moment. I understand one of you is pregnant. Well, you, of course, will remain in camp. And you were wounded? Yes, but it's not serious. Well, you'll be responsible for the security of the prisoner, both of you. That'll be all. What's going to happen to the prisoner? We're hoping to negotiate a prisoner exchange. Our people in town are working on it. And if you don't? Well, a prisoner will be shot. <laughs> I 
as I said, and to other girls. Yes, I've had other girls. But tomorrow we both may be dead, and there's very little time for new speeches. Take a patrol down the trail and see if there are any more of them. Bury these in the woods somewhere and make sure there's no trace. You're under arrest, both of you. In utter, callous disregard of orders, these two deserted their post. At a time when the security of this entire detachment was entrusted. This could have been a disaster. We can't go on behaving as if peace was just around the corner. We have hard, bitter days ahead of us. And without discipline, we'll all be destroyed. Death is the only punishment for this kind of a betrayal. It is in every other army. We have to make an example of them. An example that will never be forgotten. What about my record? Does it mean anything? I fought in more battles than any of you. I killed more Germans you than any of you. You want your record brought into this? Is that what you want? How many acts of disobedience does it include? How many acts of willful brutality? Does it include the mutilation of a German sergeant? When he knew that the partisan army is opposed to individual terrorism. Yes! And I would do it again if I had the chance. From the day you joined this detachment, you've been a troublemaker. You show nothing but contempt for our rules and regulations. I don't deny your bravery in combat, but your irresponsibility is part of your record. As for the girl, I can think of nothing to exonerate her. She's not a child, she knew what she was doing. We pay for our acts, all of us. That is it in nothing. Those who punished her punished an innocent girl. She's not on trial for her past record. Or is Bronco. They're charged with dereliction of duty in a combat situation. Now, does anyone else want to speak? What is there to discuss? They've admitted their guilt. I say, let's get it over with. Put it to the vote. Go on, put it to a vote. Just a moment. What they did was wrong. But what was the cause of it? Why did it happen? Because they were forbidden to be lovers, openly and honestly. So they became lovers in secret. They made a mistake because they were human. And because the rule you made is inhuman. Is that your defense that the rule was to blame? What's been proved is how badly the rule is needed. What will you gain by executing them?
They are valuable fighters. We need them. Belko is right about one thing. There are bitter days ahead. We may all perish before this war is over. If they must die, why can't they die facing the enemy as they lived? So that their death is meaning. How could we ever trust them again? And those you can't trust must be destroyed. They betrayed us once. They'll do it again. No. Life must be precious to us. We can't treat each other, our own people, the way the enemy does. I call the question. more to say. I only want to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. who find the defendants guilty, which carries an automatic sentence of death, raise your hands. As you know, decisions arrived at democratically are binding on all of us, regardless of personal opinion. In that spirit, the firing squad will be composed of the following fighters. Milko. Vladimir. Milan. Boja. Luba. Jovanka. <laughs> I don't want to see them. What are you waiting for? 
This should be easy for you. Aim. You're shooting the man who mutilated your German lover. Fine. Milko. will be responsible for the start of the action in the square. The second brigade will remain here. It will attack and destroy this checkpoint after the action in town starts. And this will then be the exit point for all. The first brigade will fight a rear guard action, giving you a chance to reform and get away. If the Germans pursue you, you will continue retreating over the mountain where you can get support from battalion headquarters. Good luck. I'm hungry. I was just thinking, my own baby will be a German. So how can I go on hating them? Perhaps your baby will grow up to be a good German. Are there good Germans? Some. How can you tell the difference between a good German and a bad German if they both invade your country? I grant your point. Was your wife? I have no wife. I went through your papers. There was a snapshot. A girl in a wedding dress. She's dead. She was killed in an air raid a year ago. <gasps> oh. What's the matter? I don't know. I get these pains like a cramp. But it can't be the baby. It's not due till next week. You ever delivered a baby? Ever seen one delivered? No. Have you? I read about it. Oh, you'd better lie down. Luba, I don't want to have the baby yet. I want to wait for Maria. <laughs> You go get some water.
What were you before the war? I was a professor at the university. What did you teach? Philosophy. Ah, philosophy. And you? What did you do? I was nothing. I worked in a shop. I waited mostly. Waited for the right young man to come in. But he never came. It was a ladies' dress shop. Do you think the war will be over soon? It'll be over very soon for me. What do you mean? You'll shoot me. I? You or your friends, you'll have to. You just can't keep on holding me. But they're working on a prisoner exchange. Oh, yes. No, truly. They tried to arrange it with your colonel. Are they? You don't believe me. I believe you. It says that you don't know the German command here. What do you mean? They don't keep partisan prisoners. They kill them. Luba! 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 I had the strangest dream. I saw my baby all grown up. It was her wedding. She was a beautiful bride, Luba, and we were all there. And we were beautiful, too. We had chiffon dresses and long, long hair. You're a baby yourself. She is beautiful, isn't she? But the strangest part... You know who she was marrying? Captain Reinhardt. But he wasn't a German officer anymore. I mean, the war. There was no war. He was just a nice young man. A doctor. Be quiet now. Go to sleep. That's Mira. You know what she told me? She dreamt that... visitors, we shall now show some motion pictures. Von Süden, Westen und Norden wurden nun Timoschenkos Armeen mehr und mehr zusammengedrängt. Die große Stunde der Panzer ist gekommen. In endlosen Kolonnen rollen sie heran. Sturmgeschütze. Stoßtrupps sind aufgesessen, um zusammen mit den Panzern sofort... Hier waren 
here. Did all our people get through? Yes. Lena, guns and ammunition over here. How many minutes? Four. Set it for four minutes. For General Yeager and his friends, with my compliments. You've got three and a half minutes to get to the projection booth. A little less, if you plan on getting out alive. Remember the assembly point. The other side of the woods. Just wait for me till dawn. Oh, you wait for me. Yovanka. Oh, you'll stay here. All right, Milan. Good luck. If it isn't good, don't let them bury me with the Germans. Mila. See you later. Later. I'm changing your orders. Changing my orders? Why? You won't be needed here. I want you to cover the road into the forest. The road into the forest, away from here. Those are your orders. Oh, no. The wounded will be coming through. There'll be stragglers. What are you trying to do? Save my life? And ask Milan and all the others to give up theirs? First, you thought I wasn't as good as they were. Now, do you think I'm any better? I want... Italienische Schnellboote haben die feindliche Sicherung durchbrochen und greifen an. Torpedo los! Greifer mit Schiffs! In immer neuen Wellen greifen die deutschen und italienischen Kampfflugzeuge an. Torpedoangriff. Losen Einsatz der deutschen und italienischen Kriegsmarine und Luftwaffe im Mittelmeer wurde der britische Nachschub für Malta und Nordafrika abgeschnitten und die Versorgung der deutschen und italienischen Verbände gesichert. Diese Operationen bildeten die Voraussetzung für die siegreichen Kämpfe in der Mamarica. Marschall Rommel in vorderster Linie. Wir Hartheim, der südliche Eckpfeiler der britischen Stellungen, ist genommen. Die deutschen und italienischen Verbände stoßen nach Norden vor. More reels of film. Die im Raum von Akoma und El Ghazala stehenden britischen Truppen von ihrer Verbindung mit Tobruk ab. What is this? The Colonel says if there's a delay in the broadcast, you're to run these films too. I don't understand. Those are my orders. Take it up with the Colonel. Pioniere haben eine britische Minen schon engen von...
wait here for them. Milan! Milan! I broke my back carrying you here. Answer me! Answer me! the second brigade. We retreated along the river. Where are the others? The others? There are no others. The Germans got us from every side. We had to try to cross the river. There may be some wounded behind. Why did you leave them? To make sure that they're killed too? We should go back. No, you can't go back. The Germans have just killed the rest of you. They may have already crossed the river. You've come with us. Everybody up. We're moving out and abandon them, those who may still be alive, our own people, human beings, like Mila, like any of us. We have no time. Form the column. You command them, but what do you care about them? Nothing, nothing at all. You're insane. We're all insane. Listen. All we can do is hate and kill. Listen. Are we any better than the Germans? Will you That's listen to me? Stop. I don't want to. Stop. I don't want to. Stop. Stop. Want to Stop. Go back. Yes, right now that's all there is. Hate. But that's what we're fighting. Look what has become of us. Savages. Yes. We have become savages. But isn't that what we had to do to survive? Do you think we could win? Could we ever win with decency, with gentleness? They made us into savages. Savages who destroy them. Later we can hope. We can hope that somehow we can go back to where we were, to our homes and... This can never happen. We can never go back. It will happen, Yovanka. It must happen. The Germans are crossing the river. He didn't want to be wearing a German uniform. There's a girl he was going to marry. He used to talk about her. We'll have to let her know. Yes, we let her know. He was so sure that nothing would ever happen to him.
Spain is located, it's Protestants. Good. We're moving out. Take your guns and ammunition. Come on, get off. I don't think I can walk. Yes, you can. Others are walking, and some of them are worse off than you. Come on, little mama. I can't carry both of you. They'll have the range. We'll never make it. I don't know if I set up a machine gun here. I might be able to slow them up long enough for you to get everyone through the pass. From there on, you'll have battalion support. We can't spare you for that. This is my job. Your job is to get the people through. I'm staying with you. No. I'm staying. There should be two of you on that gun, Velko. Hey, hold it. Set that up right there. Will we be able to stop them? For a while. If only we could stop them, now where they are. And stop wars the same way. 
Or is it hopeless? There will never be peace. Because people will never change. You've changed, Yovanka. I have. Yes, in time, people will change. Velko, can I believe that? Don't you understand?